Coming up next on Auto Show TV, we'll learn about two cars which deliver great fuel economy, the electric Nissan LEAF and the new 2015 Honda Accord Hybrid, plus some new Best Buys for this week. Also, Victoria's walk around of the all-new Acura TLX. You've probably seen the commercials. And some great deals from Ted's Auto Sales. All that and more next on Auto Show TV. It's Auto Show TV. Good morning. Welcome to Auto Show TV. I'm John Coletto. We're here at Anchor Nissan in North Smithfield today. We're going to get an up-close look at the Nissan LEAF. This is Nissan's entry into the electric vehicle world, and we're going to take it for a test drive. Never taken an electric vehicle for a test drive before, so this should be fun. But first, we're going to Seekonk. Let's bring in Victoria Moran, who's at First Acura. Good morning. Today, Auto Intelligence visits First Acura in Seekonk. If you're looking for a step up in a mid-sized sedan, something more luxurious, then this is for you. The new 2015 Acura TLX. It's been turning heads ever since it arrived in showrooms, so let's give it the full walk around. The new 2015 Acura TLX is gorgeous, both inside and out. You can get it in a four or six cylinder, front wheel or all wheel drive. The interior is stunning with luxury for five, and with an array of technology and safety, the 2015 Acura TLX is selling fast. Let's take a closer look here at First Acura in Seekonk. Joining us this morning is Bob Woodworth, our product specialist here at First Acura. Bob, now I've already said beautiful, luxurious, gorgeous. Did I miss anything? Well, that pretty much covers a lot of things, Victoria. This new TLX has an awful lot to offer, but it's more than just good looks. It's a well-designed, very safe, extremely well thought out automobile. Let's take a look. All right. One of the most striking features of the vehicle is these new jewel eye headlights. They're LED segments. Uh, they incorporate the driving lights, the high beams, everything in one unit. In fact, each one is aimed individually to give you a better view of the road as you're driving. We come along to the side. This accent line that you see on the side of the TLX is one of the tightest lines in the industry. On the sides of the mirrors, you have LED um, turn signal indicators a great safety feature, and of course, they've incorporated the keyless entry system, which is wonderful in yes. this vehicle. A lot of people love that. Also, Victoria, Acura has incorporated a capless fuel fill system. Basically, no more fuel cap. When you go to gas up the car, you simply insert the nozzle of the, uh, from the fuel pump, from the uh, gas pump. It'll open the valve, fill the car up, close the cover, and you're done. Voila. Nice and easy. Come on around the back. LED tail lights, LED brake lights, LEDs are everywhere in Great. this car. <laughs> oh, Bob, these are nice seats. Is this chocolate interior? Acura calls it espresso. Oh, I like that even better. But it's a new color for us this year, <laughs> and it, it really gives the car a very distinctive look. Yeah, definitely. Now, as far as technology goes, Acura is known as a technology company, and this car is loaded with it. This car has a, has a vehicle stability assist system, which is an anti-skid. In this model, and this is a technology package car, they've incorporated a number of driver assist features. You have blind spot indicators, which are next to the mirrors on the, um, on the doors, coupled to radar in the rear bumper. You also have a feature here called lane keeping assist, which is fabulous for long trips. A little camera that's behind the rear view mirror here looking forward identifies the lines in the road. When you engage lane keeping assist, the camera identifies them and basically will keep steering you in the middle of the lane you're in. Um, the advanced model, which is one step above this one, also has a system that will um, detect an impending collision and stop you. One thing you might notice about the uh, the instrument cluster is we have two screens. Yes, and a third one in the dash. Exactly. You have a small, what we call an MID or multi-information display mm -hmm. uh, right in front of you that will show things like your tire pressure monitor, your trip computers. This is a navigation car, so uh, the top screen in the center of the dash is for navigation, although you can bring up 
an audio screen, you can bring up um, a screen for your phone system, and this does have full Bluetooth phone and phone book capabilities for up to six phones. Oh, very nice. The center screen is primarily for, for audio and for climate as well. Now, is this dual climate? It is dual climate. In fact, the navigation system tells the climate system what side of the car is in the sun. Oh, very nice. And it will actually tweak the temperature on the sun side if there's enough energy coming in through the windshield. That's great. So it's a, it's a pretty smart car. Definitely. Now, one thing, Victoria, you might notice is this center console. Yeah, very sleek. Very sleek, very clean, no lever. Right. The six-cylinder models of the TLX feature this push-button type shifter arrangement. Mm -hmm. um, you have a button for park. You have a button that you pull back for reverse, much like you would with a shifter. Mm -hmm. A drive button, a neutral button. And below that, we have a button labeled IDS. IDS allows you to coordinate steering response, suspension response, transmission response, and noise cancellation in the vehicle. Okay. So you can, you can turn it in from your living room couch to a sports sedan just by pushing the button changing the feel and responsiveness of the vehicle. Very versatile. They've thought of a lot of stuff. And of course, uh, power moonroof is standard in, in this vehicle. Auto dimming rear view mirror. Um, the, home, the home link system for garage door openers. The car is pretty much everything you could want. We have cars in stock. We have more coming every day. So we have a real good supply of these vehicles. First Acura is a family owned business. We are a three-time Dealership of Distinction Award winner, which is a very prestigious honor given to, given to only the top 40 Acura dealers nationally. And it's a measure of our performance, our level of customer satisfaction, and our commitment to the Acura brand. Come see us at First Acura. Well, Eric Farah is our all-knowing Nissan expert here at Anchor Nissan. Obviously, these electric vehicles aren't for everybody at this point in time, but I know you really like the Nissan LEAF, don't you? Right now, I think you're right. It's not exactly for everybody, but when you're doing 40, even 50 miles each way, this car can cover you. The range that you do have on the new ones, they're up to 126, and there is a lot of use that you can get out of this electric vehicle. Tell us a little bit about charging and how long, because everybody wants to know, how long can I go on a charge and how long is it going to take to charge it up again? Sure. Uh, you'll get easily 90, 100 miles out of it, city or highway. Yep. You, you know, I always kind of uh, refer it to as a cell phone. You know, at nighttime, you plug it in. In the morning, you unplug it and you go. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, the LEAF comes with a seven-year uh, battery warranty, so if you're leasing for three years, you really don't have much to worry about. No, a lot of people have, uh, you know, two things with the LEAF you'll find, mileage anxiety and also battery anxiety. What if my battery goes at three, four years from now, how much does it cost to replace? Well, Nissan went a step ahead and said, you know what, for, you know, the 100,000 mile and for the, the, the uh, duration of the, the warranty, we'll cover it. 100%, no money out of pocket, we'll replace it if for any reason something does happen to it down the road. Well, I'm excited. Can we go for a test drive? Sure, let's go. All right. Well, this is nice. This yeah, I think one of the things you'll notice uh, right off the bat, how much room you have in this uh, little compact car. It's uh, very deceiving, especially if you look at how much headroom you have. Yep, you know, yep. Pretty tall guy. Very comfortable. Very comfortable, and would you say it's about like Versa size? Yeah, yeah, easily. Very, very comparable. Versa, and even as much room as, as the new Sentra. I yep. mean, there's a lot of cargo area, even for the, the rear uh, seats for adults. Now, uh, what do I need to know before we go? I've never driven an electric vehicle No before. problem, it's exciting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first thing you want to do, place your foot on the brake yep. and just press the start button. Yep. And now you'll notice all your gauges are lit up. Yeah. Uh, you hear the intro to the the the, uh, the leaf music. You'll notice how many miles you have over here, yep. so you you know what you have for driving distance. Kind of have your double double screen here, which is yep. cool. In the center display, that's where you'll get all different menus to tell you how many miles you've been driving. If you go to a charger, it'll tell you which charger you're using and how much time it'll take to bring you back to the full 100% yep. charge. 
up on the very top, you'll even notice a power meter, how much power you're using while you're driving it. Oh. So you'll see the white dots increase yep. one, two, three, four, five or more when you're heavy, using it heavy. And when it goes to the left, it'll turn green and that's when the battery is being rejuvenated. So you never have to wonder. It's always telling. It's right in front of you. It's, yeah. it's right in front of you and it's very clear and easy to use. So I'm going to go. Yeah, we're going to drive, drive right now. Right, let's do we this. We are ready to go. All we right. buckle up. Yep. All right. Well, it feels the same to me, except you know I can't hear anything. You can't hear anything, but you do have a, a backup beep when you are in reverse, just so pedestrians can hear you in case you can't see them for any reason. There is a, a beeping noise that the car makes outside of the car to make people aware of the, the car that's, that's backing up because you can't anything. hear it. It's wow. absolutely quiet. One of the things, too, when we get through this uh, intersection, don't hesitate to put your foot on the gas. The Nissan Leaf is 100% tor torque. So when it gets up and goes, it's it's very quick, very responsive. You will not have a problem getting out of the way of other vehicles. Yeah, that's one of the things they say that I think this is probably a misconception. They are peppy. They are very peppy. Yeah. Very yeah. peppy. Not sluggish at all. Nope. All right, here we go. Here we go. I like it. Quiet. Now that picked up, I didn't even hardly touch the gas pedal to be honest, so. We're gonna hop on the highway a little bit. You'll actually okay. be able to feel how it gets up to uh, the highway speeds. All right, so we're gonna hop on 99 North. I think a lot of our viewers know exactly where we are here. And don't hesitate to put your foot down. All right, let's do that. Yeah, it's instant acceleration. It feels really good, yeah. Almost reminds you of like a go kart. You you just get up and yeah. go. Yeah. And with the CVT transmission, you're not feeling any shifting or hunting for gears or anything. Yep. The, the response is is immediate. It must be uh, it must be fun to dispel some rumors. It, immediately, I say, hold on, let's go take it for a drive, and then let's go over any kind of concerns that you might have. Because a lot of people look at a small car like this and they think of eco cars or really cheaply made cars and. It's not with the, the Nissan Leaf. It's a very heavy, durable car. It provides a great smooth ride. It handles phenomenally around corners and as well as is taking the bumps as, yeah. as we just saw with the, the bumps that we just went over. So are they selling? They are. We just had a, you know, I sold three of them just last month. We're hmm. uh, ordering seven more coming in uh, hopefully soon because we've got orders uh, being fulfilled. So they, uh, the popularity of the, the Leaf is finally establishing itself where people are actually walking in asking specifically for this car. It's very exciting. I'm sure anyone who's considering an electric vehicle, a Leaf or any other, they've done their research. There's tons of information online, sure. but I'm sure you would like to encourage them, come to Anchor Nissan, take, take just it. like what we just did, take it out. Take a nice test drive, yeah. you know, get, get the feeling because once you get the feeling of how this car performs and handles, it's, it's amazing. It really is. Coming up next, this week's Best Buys. You're watching Auto Show TV. The official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new used and classic car and truck financing needs. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. At Sorrell, we're building a new showroom to better serve you. But this construction's taking up a lot of space, so we need to make deals. Like these 2014 Malibus, only $14,995. We need to make space. Come to Sorrell's. I'll be glad you did. Hey, Jeff here at Village Motors with exciting news. We have over 100 vehicles in stock, all competitively priced, and come with an additional five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Here's an example. Purchase this Toyota Solaro with 76,000 miles and you'll have coverage till 2018 or 176,000 miles. So hurry down, pick your vehicle and add an additional five years and 100,000 miles to its current mileage. So visit us and experience why we have become Rhode Island's largest certified pre-owned dealer. Village Motors, a higher standard in pre-owned vehicles. 
at Sarone's, we've got the help, but we need to make room. That's why these 2014 Captivas are only $16,995. You save almost $10,000. The new building's going up, but our prices are coming down. See them all at SaroneGM.com. Now it's Auto Show TV's Best Buys. We search for the best cars in the market and tell you where to find the deals. Majestic Honda sells and leases a lot of Accords. Right now they feature the 2015 Accord LX with so much in standard technology for $179 a month on a 36 month lease. And that's with only $1,000 down at Majestic. If you're looking at a smaller sedan, Anchor Nissan has the 2014 Sentra SV discounted over $2,300. Buy it for just $16,814 or lease for three years and zero down. Plus you get Anchor's lifetime assurance plan. Or how about a move up to Maxima? This deal caught our eye this week, a 2014 Nissan Maxima S with a savings of over $8,000. That's a best buy. This Maxima is $24,050 at Anchor Nissan. And you can lease with zero down if you prefer. With the popularity of the all new 2015 Honda Fit, there aren't a lot of huge discounts yet, but Majestic Honda did it. The Fit LX with its forward thinking technology and Majestic is leasing this Fit for $149 a month. That is a no brainer. We found a great price now on a 2014 Dodge Charger, one of America's great muscle cars. Elmwood in East Providence has chargers starting at $22,999. Save over $6,000 and 0% financing is available too. We noticed the popular 2014 Chevy Malibu at a great price at Cerrone's in South Attleboro. They've got a big construction project going on, so they are moving cars. This is a program Malibu, which is $14,995, almost eight grand off MSRP. Also a smaller SUV that packs so much for the money is the Chevy Captiva. This program Captiva with low mileage is just $16,995 at Cerrone's. That's 10 grand off the original price. Program Captivas at Cerrone's. Anchor Nissan is selling a lot of the redesigned 2015 Rogues. They are so nice, and right now they have Rogues starting at 25,158. Nissan did such a great job with the new Rogue, and Anchor includes the lifetime assurance plan. Another small SUV that provides so much is the Honda CRV. The 2014 CRV can be yours on a $189 a month lease for 36 months. Another no brainer. This is at Majestic Honda in Lincoln and West Warwick. They sell an awful lot of Ram pickups at Elmwood in East Providence. We found they're offering right now a 2014 Ram 1500 quad cab with the Ram box for $28,999 delivered. It's very nicely loaded up and save over five grand. Recently we featured the Chrysler Town & Country on Auto Show TV. Sure enough, Elmwood has put a really low price on the L model right now. They've slashed the price over $8,000. It's $35,99 at Elmwood and also 0% financing is available. That's Auto Show TV's Best Buys. For more info, go to our website, theautoshow.tv. It's Ted's time on Auto Show TV. Ted's Auto Sales, Route 6 in Somerset. Let's head out there now. Here's Mark Mannion. Thanks, John. Welcome back to our segment on Auto Show TV. My name is Mark. I'm really excited about the vehicles we have to present today. And the first one is a 2008 Nissan Maxima SE, one owner. You want, the fuel, you want the fuel efficiency, you want a little growl, you wouldn't, you wouldn't mind a little wing either. Spoiler on the back. Uh, alloy wheels, moonroof, automatic, priced especially for the show at $11,995. You want your next family vehicle to have attitude along with a little growl. How about this 2008 Cadillac Escalade EXT? Has every option, 22 inch wheels, brand new tires, as the moonroof has navigation has the backup camera, has power folding mirrors, a retail value of close to $29,000. Priced for the show at $24,995. Features a factory remote starter also. Come get it at Ted's. The leader in the pickup truck market for sure, many years, 2007 Ford F-150 Super Crew, four wheel drive. This one winks at you. It's got the, the chrome package, the running boards, the bed liner, and the red fire clear metallic red. Only 75,000 miles, priced especially for the show at $19,995. Eye-catching design and devotedly functional as it should be. 2008 Toyota Tacoma double cab SR5 four-wheel drive, one of the leaders in the midsize truck industry. They go out as fast as they come in, 
You got the side steps, you got automatic, you got four wheel drive, you got a soft tonneau cover, and you have a tow package. Price for the show at only $17,995. Versatile, roomy, functional, all with a nice little retro style to it. 2008 Honda Element EX with real time four wheel drive. Seating for five, alloy wheels, fog lights. We got it priced specially for the show at $12,995. So you want your family's next SUV, you want it to have low miles, you want it to have moonroof, you want seating for seven, and you want it under 10, right? That dog doesn't hunt, right? Well, now it does. 2005 Nissan Pathfinder SE. Seating for seven, automatic, side steps, only $99.95 price for the show. Got a retail value, NADA, nearly $12,000. Come get it at Ted's. Again, thanks for tuning in to our segment on Auto Show TV. My name is Mark. If you have any questions on any of the vehicles I've presented, 508-677-9517 or at tedsautosalesinc.com. All of our vehicles are serviced by our own service department. We've been in business since 1990. Thank you again. Next, the Accord that gets 50 MPG. You're watching Auto Show TV. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. If you'd like more information about any of the dealers and deals you've seen on today's show or would like to view previous episodes of Auto Show TV, go to our website, theautoshow.tv. Next time you fake wearing your seatbelt, remember this. Cops have been trained to spot seatbelt violations even at night. And they don't give out fake tickets, day or night, click it or ticket. So car shoppers want it all these days. A car that has plenty of room, all the new technology and safety, and not good but great gas mileage. Take a look at this, the 2015 Honda Accord, one of the top selling mid-sized cars in America. Now what if I told you that this Accord delivers 50 MPG City? Well it does, because it's a hybrid. This Accord hybrid looks exactly like the gas-powered Accord, all the safety, creature comforts, technology, the room of the mid-size, but this Accord is powered by gas and electric. We're joined by Casey Martin here at Majestic Honda in Lincoln. So the Accord comes as a hybrid. Isn't that kind of like the, the cherry on top of the Sunday? It is, John. A lot of people don't realize that not only can you get a regular Honda Accord, which gives you all the great Honda Accord qualities, but it is available as a hybrid and well that gives you absolutely incredible gas mileage. Well, let's uh, talk about it. Show us around here. What are we looking at? This is the newest Honda Accord Hybrid. It's a 2015 model, and it has the most advanced hybrid motor that Honda's ever produced. So here's your four-cylinder gas engine. Here's the electric part of it. That's, that's correct, okay. and there's a lot more to it inside that we can't show here, but essentially, the gas motor drives a giant generator. The generator creates electricity, and the electric motor actually drives the car. Now, other than this, other than this Accord as a hybrid, it's really just an Accord. All the safety, all the other technology, all the other creature comforts inside pretty much mirror the gas-powered Accord, correct? You are absolutely correct. If you were to get into, if we close this hood, you're driving a Honda Accord. So not only does it give great ride quality, um, handles great, it's still a Honda Accord. So it's same get up, same performance. It's actually, it accelerates maybe even a little quicker than the standard four cylinder because the electric motor generates torque immediately. So as soon as you hit the pedal, it's got full torque to the wheels. Yeah. So it's actually a fun car to drive. I do see one difference, this nice blue trim here on the grill. Absolutely, it's on the grill in the front, it's also in the back in the tail lights. It's just to help differentiate it from the standard Honda Accord. So is the hybrid Accord a little more expensive? Of course it is, right, Casey? Because it's got the electric part of the whole 
configuration here. Exactly, and the largest cost of the hybrid technology is still the battery. The lithium ion battery pack is very expensive to produce, as well as the additional electronics for the, the generator and of course the electric motor. Um, but most of that extra cost you should recoup over the life of the vehicle. Again, if you're a commuter who drives high mileage and, uh, and stuck in stop and go traffic a lot, yeah. the, the almost double gas mileage should uh, give you a good return on your investment. Um, all the hybrids have the same style 17 inch wheel which is unique to the hybrid yep. um, but they're all 17s um, again being the EXL model it has some of the features that we've discussed in prior episodes it does have the lane watch system it has the directionals built into the the headlight for an additional safety feature it has the lane departure warning camera um, and then the model above this one does have the newest feature, which is the adaptive cruise control. Which is down here, correct? That's correct. Yep. It has an actual radar unit in the car that measures the distance of the vehicles in front of you. Yeah. And it's got the keyless. It does. This model has the push button start with the keyless entry. Yeah. So you don't have to remove your key from, the, uh, from your pocket or purse. Casey, let's uh, fire it up here because I'd like, to, I'd like the viewers to see the instrument panel all lit up. You got it, John. If okay. I hit the start button one again, it is a push start. It just turns on the basic features of the car. Yep. But if you hold the brake and hit it again, the car will start. As you can tell on the display, there's a lot of information up here. The first thing you'll notice is the flower in the upper left, which is the econ button that we've just talked before. We can turn that on or off. For the most part, we recommend you leave it, leave it on, of course. That's what gives you this little item in the front of the, of the instrument panel, which is a little car. That little car is going to tell you or show you how you're driving. Yep. Um, if you're driving aggressively, the little car will move up and it'll turn blue, showing you're accelerating too quickly. Green is good, blue is bad. The idea is to not only is the technology in the car giving you the great fuel economy, but it's trying to teach you to be a better driver. Great. Is there anything here that's gonna tell the driver whether it's in gasoline mode or electric mode? There is. Uh, when you go through the display here, there's a lot of different screens, but one of them, as we go through them all, is right here. Ooh. Now, the two outside icons are actually your tires. Yep. The upper one is supposed to be an engine, and the, that one uh, there, yeah. and the bottom one is the battery. Yep. As you drive, it's going to show you, and the car just shut off because we were idling for too long. This uh, car is so smart. <laughs> <laughs> as, now it's gonna run only, as you can tell, the AC is still on. It's using the electric uh, power from the battery to keep the AC running and keep the car going. Um, so again, as you accelerate now, depending on how quickly you're accelerating, it's either gonna draw the power from the battery from the generator, which the motor's powering the generator, right. or from both. So as you're driving, it's actually gonna show you where the power is going to move the wheels. So you never have to guess, it's right in front of you. That's correct. Yeah. And also when you're braking, it does have regenerative braking. So as you apply the brakes, it spins the generator to actually recharge the battery. Mm -hmm. And it'll show you that as well. This really is some impressive technology. Now, I know you don't have a ton of the hybrid because they don't make that many, but you do have some, 14s I, and 15s? I do, I have a couple 14s left over that Honda has put a great incentive on and they're offered for a great price. And this is actually our first 15 model that came in. It is identical to the 14, so if you're looking for a great deal, one of the leftover 14s is available. Two locations of Majestic Honda. Absolutely, I of course I'm in the Majestic North in Lincolnwood Island and we have our other location in West Warwick on uh, Route 2. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence. Thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.